first you'll need to go to brightsign.biz to download your software. You click on downloads on the very top right here and choose your player. If you've got one of the Duotone demo players, then you have to use this option here, the LS4. There you have is the LS424. Now, here is the software. You have a few options here. You want to go down to this bright sign author here, just bright author. author. Uh, the connected one is a cloud option, so you don't need that. This is the one you want. It's the bottom left one here. Click download. It will download. You then open it up. And from here, double click the setup and follow the instructions to get it installed. Once it's installed, the software will open up um, and you'll have four tabs along the top. The first tab I want to show you is the manage tab where you add your device. So if you've got one of the Duotone demo devices, it's usually on uh, IP address ending in 230. So you go add the unit, um, in this case 192.168.0.230, click OK. I've already added it and it'll show up here. Now, my device is unplugged from the network at the moment, but if it's plugged in and available and you're on the same network, it will show up that it's active and present here. So after you've added your device, you need to create your first presentation. So you go to File, New Presentation, and then give it a name. So test one, choose your player model. So the demo model that you will have uh, is the LS424, or if you're not using this for demo purposes, you may have a different model here. The model is always written on the device. Connector is usually HDMI, screen resolution is usually that, you can leave as is, the, and it's landscape probably, so leave it as is, and then click Create. Now you can actually have multiple different zones and layouts on the screen. Uh, for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to click this one here, which has loads of different zones. So in other words, you might want something that's full screen content to just rotate on the full screen. Or you might want um, this one here, where you have um, multiple different zones. You can create your own as well and edit these zones. So I'm going to go with the one the five zone one here. And you'll be in this menu here. And you can actually just click on the different zones that you want to edit. And just like that. OK. So let's just say, for example, that you, on this main zone here, um, you want it to be images. Now it says video or image, it's in green here. See this one's a clock. That's images only, images only, and text. So normally you can only have one video on the screen at any one time, so don't make multiple video tabs. You can edit what the zone is going to be in here. And um, give us the image scale to fit, you can have it different volume, you might want no volume, for example. Um, so when it starts, it has no volume. And click OK. So in here, I want to drag and drop whatever I want here, and you'll, you'll basically make like a kind of film reel of, or of content. So this is video, so I'm gonna, on the media library here, this is just my, my desktop, so I'm gonna click this, folder here to browse and browse to a folder that I have some videos. So I think I've got some, okay, click okay. And now all my videos will show show here. So I'm gonna just, just like that, drag, drag some videos across there. Okay, perfect. So now what's gonna happen, it's gonna play this video, then this one, then this one, and go back to the start. It'll automatically rotate. This option here is clock. I have to choose which uh, template I want. I'm going to go with this date template. So it'll show a date and time. Um, and let's see. Go to this next one here, images. And um, so again, let's see. Browse some images here. Let's image. Okay. All right. So we got some images. And we're going to the same thing. Just drag, drop. And if your image is too large or too small, it will give you the option to automatically 
make it to size and it actually quickly saves it as a resized image there. See that's up here there now resized. And now let's go to our second images here. We're gonna have just these rotate here. And then this last option here is um, the text feed or scrolling text. And um, you can actually add in your own text or you can add in a feed from, from Twitter or Facebook. And the other option is uh, text here. So let me just open up a, a notepad. So you can actually have your own scrolling text messages come up. So, yeah. so let's just go with that file. I'll save it. I'm just going to save it in here for the moment. Yeah. Text for sign is showing there now in notepad. So you notice I did a blank line, next, next, next. So we'll just see how that shows. So we have this option at the very, very top here, preview half or full. So I'm going to click preview full and it should open up the whole screen. Or preview half, half screen. So I'm going to go full and hit preview there now. And it's giving me an example now of this playing. And you can see there, if I didn't do that extra paragraph space, there'd probably be a text in line showing up here instead. And you can see these images are automatically changing. We've got Monday the 29th of March. Now you can actually change this background color as well. And I'm going to press escape to get out of that preview. So it's just to change the background color and go file, presentation properties. And here you can choose the background color. I'm going to make it red. Okay, okay. And let's say I want to change this clock. Let's say I'm going to go to click on that, click delete. And I'm going to put the clock in here instead. Um, and we're going to preview this now instead. So it's red there. We okay, haven't got completely red background. So this one, see, it's got a zone properties option. This is where I can change the, the background. And go white. Okay. Number of lines, three, two, and yeah, okay. All right, this one here as well, same thing. We're gonna choose okay, let's try that again. Now you can make it look look a lot nicer messing around the zones and the other and the properties, but this just gives you a good idea of what you can do. Press escape. So after you've got all your zones and all your information, then you want to save it. So you go file, save test one, or you can file, save as, save it somewhere else. And then last, you're gonna go publish. So, in the publishing section, it's going to automatically make it all day long, all the time. And what you want to do here at the top, see local network is where you want to be. And it's unable to connect at the moment to 192.168.230. And your device will show up here if it is connected and on the network. So you simply just have that selected and click publish. And then it will publish to the screen. And that is it.